Now, we want to expand a plus b power of n where our n must be negative integer or rational number only. So, here you can see that our a is not equals to 1. So, what we should do is we have to factorize a. So, here it will become 1 plus b over a. And then expand the bracket. So, we have a power of n multiply with 1 plus b over a power of n. So, this one, the validity for this expansion will become modulus b over a less than 1. For example 3, we have to find the first four term in the expansion and then we have also to state the values of x for which the expansion are valid. So this one is the validity for this expansion. In example 3, we have search four minus x so change in the form of indices so four minus x power of half but as you can see we cannot use this formula this expansion directly as here is four and then this is one so we have to factorize four to make it one To factorize 4, first open big bracket, factorize 4, so this is small bracket, factorize 4, so here is 1, and then this one is x over 4. Close bracket, and then close the big bracket, this one is power of 1 over 2. Okay, simplify. So here is 4 power of 1 over 2 and then 1 minus x over 4 power of half. We can simplify here. So 4 power of half is 2 times 1 minus x over 4 power of half. Okay, now, as here is 1, so we can use the expansion above directly. Now, we want to expand 2 multiply with 1 minus x over 4 power of half. Okay, put 2 here and then open big bracket. So, we want to expand this expansion as previous example so what you need to do first is you have to list down what is our n and then what is our b so our n is equals to 1 over 2 and then our b is equals to negative x over 4 Okay, just put into the expansion. So, the first term is always 1 plus and then our second term n multiply with b. So, our n is 1 over 2 multiply with negative x over 4. For the third term, n multiply with n minus 1 over 2 factorial. So, our n, 1 over 2, multiply with 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 factorial, multiply with b power of 2. So, here is negative x over 4 power of 2. And then, our next term, our next term, n multiply with n minus 1 multiply with n minus 2 over 3 factorial. So, 1 over 2 multiply with 
1 over 2 minus 1, 1 over 2 minus 2 over 3 factorial times negative x over 4 power of 3 plus dot 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 and then close the big bracket. Okay, so try to simplify. Here is 2 and then 1 plus here is 1 over 2 multiply with negative x over 4 plus 1 over 2 multiply with negative 3 over 2 times x square over 16 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 2 Multiply with negative 3 over 2. Multiply with 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2. Over 3 factorial times negative x cubed over 64. Plus dot dot. Close the big bracket. Okay, so simplify. 2 times... 1 minus 1 over 8x minus 1 over 128x square minus 1 over 1024x cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, so we have to expand. So, 2 times all the terms inside the bracket. So, we have 2 minus 1 over 4x minus 1 over 64x squared minus 1 over 512x cubed. So, this is the expansion for the set 4 minus x. So, our final answer we can write set 4 minus x equals to 2 minus 1 over 4x minus 1 over 64x squared. Minus 1 over 512x cubed plus dot dot dot. Next, we have to find the validity for this expansion. The expansion is valid for same as previous magnitude b less than. 1. As our b is negative x over 4, so less than 1. As we know that modulus is always positive. So here, x over 4 only less than 1. Then, Open the modulus, so x over 4 less than 1, more than negative 1. And then make it the x as the subject, so x less than 4. The validity for this expansion. As the previous examples, so, for this example 4, we also need to find the first 4 terms and then we also have to state the validity for this expansion. We want to expand 2 plus x power of negative 2. So, the first step we have to factorize 2. So, open big bracket 2. And then this one, factorize 2, we get 1 plus x over 2 
close the big bracket. So this one is power of negative 2. And then expand. So now here is 2 power of negative 2. And then 1 plus x over 2 power of negative 2. We can simplify 2 power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 4. Multiply with 1 plus x over 2 power of negative 2. So now we want to expand. So we have to determine what is our b and then what is our n. So our n is equals to negative 2 and then our b is equals to x over 2. Okay, so... We can expand now. 1 over 4. 1 plus x over 2 power of negative 2. So here is 1 over 4. Don't forget to put the big bracket here. So our first term is equals to 1. Plus and then second term negative 2. Multiply with x over 2 plus our third term negative 2 multiply with negative 2 minus 1 over 2 factorial multiply with x over 2 squared plus negative 2 multiply with negative 2 minus 1 multiply with negative 2 minus 2 over 3 factorial multiply with x over 2 cube plus dot 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 close the big bracket. Okay, so we can simplify inside the bracket first. So 1 over 4 multiply with 1 plus negative 2 times x over 2 plus negative 2 times negative 3 over 2 factorial times x over 2 squared plus negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4 over 3 factorial times x over 2 cube plus dot 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 close the bracket okay here 1 over 4 multiply with 1 minus x plus 3 over 4 x square minus 1 over 2 x cube plus dot 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 close the bracket and then we need to expand this bracket so 1 over 4 multiply with 1 so 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 x plus 3 over 16 x square Minus 1 over 8x cubed plus dot dot dot. So this is the expansion for this. 1 over 4 times 1 plus x over 2 power of negative 2. Now we want to find the validity for this expansion. The expansion is valid for same as before, modulus b less than 1. So, our b is modulus x over 2 less than 1. Open the modulus. So, here x over 2 less than 1 more than negative 1. Simplify it. 
So our validity is x less than 2 more than negative 2.